It is our mission and mandate from the Developmental Disabilities Bill of Rights Act of 2000 to amplify the voice of individuals with developmental disabilities in the CNMI. The council meeting one-on-one -on -one with lawmakers to voice their concerns when it comes to accessibility and equity for residents with developmental disabilities. Its members call themselves self-advocate leaders, part of a nonprofit called Voices sharing that mission to make life easier. And some days it's hard for me, life is hard for me to deal with. And some days I just don't go outside my house because I feel like life is not perfect to people with disabilities. He wants to see change, more accessible public transportation, fair job opportunities, and personal care assistance at home. Another self-advocate shared the need for scholarships and apprenticeship programs for the community. One speaker said she'd like to see more accessible public spaces for those using a wheelchair. Most beaches, pools, and businesses in the cinema don't have wheelchair accessibility. These businesses and public areas haven't had any success with it. Legislators telling them that their door is always open. No person with disabilities should be left behind. The council plans to meet with Rhoda and Tinian leaders later this month. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.